it's actually pretty cringe. It's really cringe. You show up there, you expect some randos to perform for you to make you look cooler. So it seems like a classic culture vulture situation. What I expect is that someone who's making major publications takes the time to consider the humans they are including in that cover and what the implications of how they use that footage is. Cheers, cowboy. Cheers. Okay, so what are we doing here, folks? Great question. We're doing some presentations. Why? I, I don't really know, just for fun. <laughs> it's just for fun. Mainly because we thought it'd be fun to teach each other things and then we thought, well, some people like watching us on the internet. Maybe they'll like listening to us hang out. This one is a little light and I opted to stick with something skateboarding related because you love skateboarding. So this week I'm talking about Alex Cooper. You may know her from Call Her Daddy, her Cosmopolitan cover. Why am I talking about this? Because it was my first real time observation of skateboarding culture vulturing. This is the Cosmo cover. <laughs> I guess I never really looked at this closely. No, you did. So this came out in November of last year. So November, 2023, almost about a year ago. And um, she actually had two covers, which is kind of like a modern magazine thing. You know, you can have more than one cover, whatever. But this is one of the covers. And this got sent to me a lot from people in my life who, full transparency, my life is full of people who have nothing to do or know nothing about skateboarding. So I got a lot of DMs. Uh, I think one quote was, you got to do this with Ryan. Okay. And so everyone outside of the skateboarding community was very hyped to see a mainstream cover with skateboarding involved. Please hold your comments till the end. It's just the more you look at it, the worse it gets. Yes, yes, yes. I will get into my reactions. I picked this topic because Ryan, you have spent years telling me that skateboarding is the foundation of high fashion and the probably the largest victim of culture vulturing. And so as you can see in this photo, clearly leading fashion man. So I thought I would just bring it back home to you. Thanks. To take things forward. I'm engaged. Good, you should be. So let's talk about the magazine, Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan is actually known for, well, allegedly it's considered a high fashion magazine. Personally, I would disagree, but that's neither here nor there. What they are really known for is for um, incredibly sexually explicit content. Hmm. I thought it would be helpful to pull some of the covers from the last 50 years. This goes back to the 70s. Okay. So this is what I know and sometimes have loved about Cosmopolitan. Well, a past. lot of sex moves. Yes, right? So let's start in the 70s here, right? Are you sexually mature? How to keep him interested when he's away from you? Things like that, right? This is, I think, uh, the 90s, super hunks. How to make your man better in bed. Hmm. Yes, hot tips, important read. 75 sex tips from guys, orgasm, guaranteed. This simple mind trick takes you from almost to there, underlined. Look, so sexy. Total body sex. These nine secret spots are climax triggers when touched this way. So, you know, this is, you know, this is kind of what this magazine is known for. 50 kinky sex moves. Uh, holy shit, sex moves, right, you know? Uh, and then the last one, Crazy hot sex moves he'll think about all year long. So this is what Cosmo has been known for, which is why, I'll be honest, the Alex Cooper skateboarding cover was a bit of a surprise to me because it was really off-brand, you could say. So I thought I should look into Cosmopolitan's history with skateboarding. It just seemed like good journalism. So we actually start in 2015. Mm. Back in 2015, Cosmopolitan published an article about the Pink Helmet Posse. Do you know who those girls are? Never heard of it. Yeah, they're kind of defunct now. Uh, but as Cosmo's headline says, these tiny skateboarding prodigies want to change what it means to skate like a girl. These are all like eight and under girls who are skateboarding, blah, blah, blah. Here's a picture of like a two-year-old on a skateboard. I'm sure their moms were running the website. Now, 
it's seemingly defunct. Their last Instagram post was 2022, but it's a very cute skate crew. So an article in 2015. I will say, I did look back at the footage. These girls are fabulous at skateboarding, but calling them prodigies is just a misnomer at best and totally misleading at worst. Then in 2018, Cosmopolitan South Africa sponsored a Skatistan event. Oh, cool. Very cool. So I read about it. Skatistan posted about it. It was a women's uh, community skate event, a women's community skate event, which included instructors. So there were some courses in the morning and then competitions in the afternoon. Cosmo contributed funds and prizes, um, but there was no publication about skateboarding in any cosmopolitan anything that I could find on the internet. Huh. In 2020, uh, South Africa Cosmopolitan shut down. The publication that was producing it uh, shuttered during the pandemic. So this story exists only outside of, Co like Cosmo maybe sponsored this event, but never. Correct. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Feels a little weird. So that's second instance. Third. Mm. Nigel agreed to do a phone interview with Cosmo. Interesting. Maybe on brand. I don't know. Do people think Nigel is a sex symbol? He's probably in the top like sexiest skateboard alive. You know. Skateboard. Yeah, that's that's a whole can of worms that we're not, not going to get into. That. into. We are not. A, no, I'm more just saying this is interesting. Now I read this. It's very short. Um, you can see my commentary is this is just funny. My favorite section is whoever this person interviewing Nija asked, you mentioned you've been filming a lot. What does that look like for you? What I realized reading his answer is he's talking about the difference in filming pre and post pandemic. <laughs> and they're asking, what do you mean you're doing filming? So it was just, it's, you know, and again, if I, if this were five years ago, I would think that's a good question. Having been on the flip side, I realized they don't know what they're asking. It ends with some light documentary. And, and he doesn't know what he's answering, which is kind of funny too. Yeah, he's yeah. like, uh, yeah. I've been going with only two people instead of the whole crew. <laughs> That's what it is. And they're like, they're more like, why are you filming? The, yeah. What, what are what, you filming? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then in 2021, the UK Cosmopolitan published this article about Sky Brown. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know, became Great Britain's youngest medalist at the Summer Games in 2020. Uh, the big call outs here were that Sky seemed incredibly chill, which again, not here to criticize anyone's journalism, but my, my summary of all of these pieces is that these are pretty much puff pieces and yeah. there is no skateboarding threaded or as a part of, or considered as a part of cosmopolitan culture. So back to the topic at hand, culture vultures. This is the cover without all of the text on it. Uh -huh. So it's kind of shot, 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 right? Overlaid. Cosmopolitan doesn't seem to know much about skateboarding based on the history we've looked at. And I know, I see your face. So I thought I should look into how they ended up at the Venice Beach skate park for this photo shoot. Good news. There's actually behind the scenes of how they styled Alex Cooper. This is cool. So this is cool. really cool. Can you imagine with like the skateboarders yeah. behind yeah. her? Yeah. Cool. Got it. <laughs> okay, we're going. <laughs> so that's the first introduction of the skateboarders. So the skateboarders are props to them. Correct. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> that's. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so that's just part one. And again, I don't think the fashion editor of Cosmopolitan should know about skateboarding. But it does seem a little weird to use skateboarders as props. The thing is, is, it would be very simple for them to call up someone in the skateboarding world who would probably be more than happy to participate or advise or, or something. Yes, and you do have to remember, this is one of eight different looks and photo shoots that they're doing in the same day for cover options. Oh, so they're like, we're going out with Alex Cooper and we're getting a cover today, but we don't know exactly. We don't, we have, uh, we have eight different looks and we have eight different thoughts. Got it. And we got to see which one is the look. So then we get to shooting in Venice. Mm -hmm. I'm basically cutting to when they show up to the skate park. Being on the 
cover of a magazine is a truly special moment and we want it to feel that way. When you're flipping through the pages of the magazine, there's a reason for it. You want it to be aspirational. And to me, there needs to be a point of view. Why are we shooting this outfit? I want it to be over the top. I want it to be something that people are talking about. Even throughout the quick changes that we had to do in this So week, that's the introduction to them being at the Venice skate park. Okay. There's one other note in this little video about dealing with the public. But really, they're just using clips from the skate park. And as you can see, she's walking directly into the middle, and there are a ton of people who were already there skating. Does it seem like they just decided to go on a random day, no communication? Yeah. Like, they didn't set up anything. That... Well, who would you communicate with? Find, like... Use but, the fact that you're Cosmo to find a pro skater to do the shoot with. Right, right. I believe the impression I took away is this is public space. It is, Correct. yes. But I'm, okay, okay. So they yeah. also had a shoot on the beach, right? I, I'm not arguing they're right to do it. I'm right. just saying I don't know why you'd go about it that way. Right. If you have all these resources. Now, the phrase, the words I took out of here were aspirational and over the top, which was partially about the fashion. But it's also par partially about the fashion compared to the backdrop. Okay. I'm sorry. So <laughs> let's take a closer look. Excuse me, we have to get out of this. I'll pull up the actual footage. This is from Alex Cooper's Instagram. Doesn't land. See? Falls. But that's the shot. And it looks like she cropped this video so that you can see he doesn't landed but like clearly he because she's not centered in the frame right and you I mean, think the wider video she'd be centered who, that's funny who knows right that's crazy yes and i mean there's a professional photographer taking this i didn't even do the deep dive on amber salt i don't know how to say her last name uh, but i didn't even do the deep dive on amber but if I were this guy, I wouldn't want that photo on the cover of Cosmopolitan. You can't use a skate photo you didn't land. There's, Correct. There's been like, I think maybe major magazines, there's been one or two instances. Nick so, Dompier, so. Back Nose Blunt, The Oceanside Hubba is the main example. But there's been maybe that one and maybe one other instance of like a cover trick that was not landed. You can't do it. It, it ruins all integrity of the magazine, right? You could stage whatever photo you want right. if there's no... Yeah, right. Yeah. I get it. And you don't need that rant. I got no, it. No, no, no. I because <laughs> when all my friends were DMing me this, I looked and I thought, it doesn't really look like he's gonna land this. So I then I saw Alex Cooper's post and I was like, he didn't land this. And then I had to figure out how to respond to all my friends who were like, this is so cool. And I was like, it's actually pretty cringe. If I'm it's being honest. It's really cringe. Yeah. I do like her outfit. So what are the people saying? Uh, someone posted about it in Skate and Annoy, but they didn't really say anything specific other than it seems really annoying to everyone at Venice Beach and Venice Skate Park that people come do fashion photo shoots here. I would imagine so. Yep. It's, I've been at the skate park a handful of times when different rappers have come to shoot music videos. Classic. When we were like 15, I mean, that would happen. Yeah. When we were like 15, we would just fall on purpose in the background. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. A couple of times we did it enough where they just, they just left. Yeah. I mean, good job. So the non-skateboarding takes, as I've said, think it's very cool, which I understand. I can see why you might think this is cool. Someone's flying over her head. My take is that it feels really cheap, right? You show up there, you expect some randos to perform for you to use their skill, not even in the correct or appropriate way to make you look cooler. Yeah. Wow, ruining whatever free time they had to be at the park that day. Yeah, that's well put. Thank you. So it seems like a classic culture vulture situation. I will say this was the first time in my life that I've been fed some sort of media content, whatever, and I've been like, ooh, skateboarding is being used as a prop. Skateboarding is being used for the cool factor without anyone bothering to think, is this actually cool? Because the answer is no, not unless you do it the right way. So no, I mean, 
Again, I don't really think I expect cosmopolitan fashion editors to think to... What I expect is that someone who's making major publications takes the time to consider the humans they are including in that cover and what the implications of how they use that footage is. What, what's, what's unfortunate too is, I mean, cl clearly that skater, if he can launch out of a bowl over her and land on the board, clearly he can land the trick. Yeah. They probably did not give him the time. No. To land the trick, because well, they were in and out of there. Because there's probably three tries and we're gone. It's and not for him; it's for them getting it, their shot. Exactly. Well, but that's what they don't understand is that their shot requires him to land it, or else it's not a, it's right. not a usable shot. Right. And somehow it ended up on the cover of a major international magazine. Yes. So wow. moral of the story is, culture vulturing, definitely happened. Come on, guys, do better. Anyway, so that was my uh, little prezzo about Alex Cooper's Cosmo cover. And that was great. It was weird. Not very much information about this at all on the internet. I searched Reddit. I searched a bunch of like Cosmo stuff. Like there is just no nothing. Are, are there other like skaters takes or that was the I, only I thing? couldn't find anything. Hmm. I mean, it's just, it's... It's an impressively bad job. Yes, that's what I think is like, I saw the photo initially and I was like, oh, like I don't, I see why you could think it's cool, but like I was in deep enough by November of last year, or it probably was, yeah, November of last year to say, I kind of don't think, like you watch the progression of the trick, right? Like yeah. he's not flipping. So why is the board now gonna be flipping? Like he's not gonna land it. Yeah, it's a bail. Right. That's what I'm saying is I could see that. But it's, it's like the clip that she posted, this is not the same take as that clip either. Right. He doesn't even land. There's no way he's even going to land on the board of this. Right. One. Yeah. Right. Um, huh. It is like, I, I will say like aesthetically, I think this is very cool. It's just, it's, it's really hard to appreciate it when you can see so obviously that this is like artistically incorrect. Also, that skate park is a nightmare. That yeah. skate park, actually, this photo shoot is a microcosm of yeah. that skate park where you're the tourist attraction for every California Venice beach goer who's like, we went and saw the skaters. I can't tell you how many people have come up to me in, in real life and been like, I, I went to the skate park in Venice and saw the skaters. And I can't imagine a more miserable place to, to skate. But for some people, they probably love it. As so, skaters or yeah, as spectators? Some skaters might enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Th I mean, there's definitely locals who. Plus, like it's not the like park. you skate bulls anyway. There's street sections there. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. So right. that was my prezzo. That was that was very good. Em. Really? I, I couldn't be more proud of you. You finally got it. Oh my gosh. What? No. Welcome. Welcome to the. Welcome to skateboarding culture. Honestly, the hardest part about this was figuring out how to respond to everyone being like, this is so sick. And me being like, ha ha, he didn't land it. So it's actually not that cool. Yeah, exactly. But no, this is, this is how it starts. You get the chip on your shoulder. It's like, no, you guys don't, you don't get it. You, this is bad. It, and it's like, you don't know how to explain it because you sound crazy. This is no. Well, you I did. think I articulated it well through this presentation. I think you did. That's yeah. why I'm. That's why I'm so proud. I'm, I'm, Are you actually proud of me? Yeah. Or you're just doing a bit. No, I'm not doing a bit at all. Like this is. Nice. You get it. That's cool. All right. What do you got for me?